Hello, everyone. Today, I'm supposed to attend the Middleton's dinner party. No, not here. That's the ducket house. Wrong place. Middleton Estate Nice of you to come, Burpier. It's good to see you again. Lisa has something to say to me. Everyone's in this room. Navy soldier. I don't know you, but how about a drink? You might not believe me, but you to have a hard time keeping the ladies away. Things change after I became a soldier. Thank the killing girl. Everyone gets scared when they see us. God. Hey, knock it out, you buggers. Please accept my apologies for their behavior. The Middletons may be lower level nobles, but it was only 10 years ago that they were pirates. Up here, right? I am Captain Lisa's aide. Garden. It is nice to make your acquaintance. Obtain steep tartar. Something to eat. Seriously, Lisa looks like one of the characters in my own pirate story. Red hair, grey eyes. Surprise! When I was younger, everyone here were pirates feared by everyone. Now we are the ones protecting the people. Ironic, isn't it? Burpia, I heard everything from Lisa. That money was sent to us by Frederick when our family was going through some financial trouble. I haven't seen him for years, but it appears he hasn't changed at all. He's just trying to look good. Freddy became really good friends with my brother when we were still pirates. We used to all play games together. Papier, thanks very much for helping us. I hope we bump into one another again. That was pretty quick. So that's where the national story quest is. Let's see this chapter. A pleasant dinner. At the port in London, Lisa herself came out to greet them. Lisa was surprised that Frederick refused to take the money. She then invited Perpia to the Middleton Mansion for dinner party as a way to show thanks for the help. Inside the Middleton Mansion, a modest yet entertaining feast was being held. Perpia was told that the Middleton family were once pirates and that Frederick had known them ever since. As Perpia was leaving, Lisa promised that they would meet again. On the wool workers. Alright, I was supposed to talk to Mr. Duckett. request from Duckett. Thanks for coming. I want to gather some skilled craftsmen because poor quality goods will ruin this town. First, try the marketplace in Amsterdam. The masters there will understand the craftsman situation. Head to Amsterdam.
with the ducks then to buy a tow permit I don't have enough money yet let's sell of course this time I better stick close to shore epic sea field Epic Sea Field is a large scale sea battle where you put the pride of your affiliated nation on the line. It's a worldwide real time sea battle revolving around a voted target city that takes place every month. The key to winning in Epic Sea Field lies within the action of players, their cooperation among allies, and the alliance of nations. The target city which the result of Epic Sea Field affects is decided with votes. In order to participate in Epic Sea Field, You'll need to accept the Epic Sea Field quest from either the Minister of your home nation or the city official of a city that is allied with your home nation. You are able to accept the Epic Sea Field quest at the same time as normal quest. The requirements for participating in Epic Sea Field are as follows. Total levels of 11 or higher. Port permit for the sea region selected for Epic Sea Field. Total fame of 500 or greater. Each epic sea field round is divided into three stages where only ships of a certain size may be used, starting with small ships, then medium-sized ships, then large ships. You'll be able to participate in different stages of epic sea field depending on your ship size. The next epic sea field participate in tech from the quest section or journal to see whether you have met all the requirements for participating in epic sea field. You can confirm the results of the most epic sea field and by talking with the maritime guild master and clicking on epic sea field info. Those who have yielded excellent battle records will have their names recorded under epic sea field info. So basically this is like the blockhead blockades in puzzle pirates. I'm not really a competitive player in that sense. So Try to change shoes. I wonder what trade goods I have. Fish. I wonder if I should collect more ship no fish or supplies. Cheap fish. If that's the case, I will only need to buy water. It says sunny. I guess the rain weather here is lagging. Okay, now we're in business. The last time I sailed in a rainstorm, I got caught in a storm instead, and having a small ship did not help. Time to fish.
A sorry. That's a fish I never seen before. One of these days I must get a bigger ship. Slightly bigger. A sorry is a delicious long and slender bluish fish. Then the men have broken our inquiry. To the commercial district. The testimony of the market keeper. It's true. There seems to be more skilled wool fabric craftsmen here. I don't normally associate with craftsmen much, so I don't really know much. If you like, try the town's workshop. I'm sure the craftsmen there moved here from Flanders about a year ago. Workshop. I think it's here. I think this is the one. The testimony of the craftsman. I came to this town because I'm not restricted by the association and can make money from my skills here. Competition with other craftsmen is tough. I got tired of the others who came along and became a sailmaker. A sailmaker. I think I must speak to the people at the docks the testimony of the sailmaker why did i come to this town the independence group said they would abolish the woolen cloth union so i could move up to a bigger profit but craftsmen with poor skills and less i'm like that too i miss working hard for my master so it's not that easy 
guild craftsmen gathering in Amsterdam because the council enacted a law to abolish the woolen cloth guild. Craftsmen can make money according to their ability rather than rank in the association, although at the same time competition has become fierce. Every quest I take I'm supposed to go back to the mediator. It sounds like someone called Irina has discovered a new astronomical object. Not terribly important to me. Back to London then. Hearing. Mostly plays an adventure. I think I have to go to school inside dress to train up the other paths. But honestly, I prefer playing adventure exploration things. If I wasn't so seasick, I would enjoy it too, even more in the real world.
I'm not sure how equipment durability works. I think it only wears down when you're in battle or you get caught out at sea in a disaster. That's a lot of rewards. Make a new quest. But I need to look for it somewhere. Another one. Another adventurous Bible. That's the same the last time. Maybe I should try the test collection and see what happens. If I remember correctly, I need to go to some other place, the British Islands South Coast, and touch there. I should prepare for that. After all, I need to discover quite a number of places on my map.
I entered Portsmouth. I can bank money. Maybe I should do it later in the main town. Where I can buy fish, fishing gear. Not good enough. It didn't take too long to get to the wild forest. That's how it is. Lots once. Maybe I stand in the forest, I will get more logs. No, not rocks. I don't want rocks. Maybe I can sell them off for some quick money. Let's try searching again.
Fallen Adventurer. Irish Bandit. I am ready for three lots. This way. Yeah, man. Open item. Yep, that was it. So those flags on the survey map are the exit points.
Maybe I can sell the rocks for pocket money. Out the home space. Since I already did the Adventure Bible quest, I won't show it again. You could check out previous episodes for it. The reason I haven't taken the well-paying quest is because I think there's a time limit. I don't want to take too long. But it should solve my money woes for quite a while. I'll head back to London and I think we'll be done for the day. I learned from experience that you'll be better off sailing during sunny or cloudy days at most. That's all for today. I know it's a pretty short episode, but the rest of it is quite a long collection session. I don't want to bore you too much. I'll stop right here then. See you next time.